Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we've had some feedback from the festivals about whether Amber is going to make its premiere with them. UK Film Festival. No. Flickerfest Film Festival. No. Slam Dance Film Festival. No. Claremont for Wong Film Festival. No. Oberhausen Film Festival. Nine. Sundance Film Festival. The one that we are putting all our efforts into having a, a work in progress version of the film ready for. No. Screw them! First off, we haven't finished the film because there's still music to do and it's going to be awesome once this music is laid on and we do the final mix which we're doing next week and secondly, nobody gets into these festivals they get thousands of entries um, I think they get, like Sundance gets something like 8,000 entries and um, they select about 100 so there was a very slim chance that we were going to get into one of those festivals but I thought, reach for the stars and you might, you might hit the moon have I said that before? I think I might have. So anyways, so this is us reaching for the stars and hopefully we're gonna hit the moon. We've already got so many other amazing film festivals that we've either entered already or we're about to enter. And the ones that we've already entered, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write to them and say, look, here's a very finished version of our film. So if you haven't started the screening process yet, please, please, please look at this version of the film rather than the, the previous one, because this is the very best version that, that we're going to create of this film so obviously it's in all our interests that you look at that one it's kind of disappointing to have not gotten into to those ones and Clermont Ferrand particularly is a um, a sort of a marketplace as well for films so you can try and sell your films there as well so if you get into one of those festivals or the Berlin Film Festival the Cannes Film Festival um, and uh, the American Film Market a little bit but that's more I think for features but these these festivals also are marketplaces as well um, the rest of them are great showcases and lots of business is done there but these ones are specifically about selling films but never to mind because Amber is not just about um, a, a commercial opportunity it's mainly and primarily an artistic one about sort of laying out my stall as a filmmaker so onwards upwards so many more film festivals to get responses back from to send the film to and on top of that most excitingly now that we have the music which I'll share with you next vlog um, I'm gonna be going back to Pinewood to finish this film so once the mix is done, all that's left to do is to finalise the end credits, get that final mixed audio onto the uh, graded finished pictures and then that's it the film is done. Um, I can arrange a screening for all our lovely contributors and our cast and crew. Um, I can continue sending out to film festivals and I can send it to, um, once we've had a screening then I can start sending it out to you, our lovely contributors that helped us with the Indiegogo campaign and who um, bought uh, a copy, a screening copy of the film as part of your contribution. So, could be, as I said before, could be by the end of the year, latest, beginning of next year, that the film is finished and then sometime early next year we can actually have an in the flesh real world screening. That's more exciting than film festivals. Well, as exciting. Well, alright, it's not as exciting, but I mean if I had a choice between having a screening and getting into a film festival, duh. But you know what I'm saying. That's it. I'm gone. Jal. 
that's me sub that's me subliminally 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 I can't even say it subliminally trying to get the Venice Film Festival to to select us ciao bene tutti come stai arrivederci that's literally all the Italian I know oh my god without going into the you know sort of cod Dolmio advert type Italian Italian accent